Hello everyone, welcome back. Going into the third hour here of Roleplay Mirror Shades Week number three. Adam, tell us how we all die. <laughs> so up up on the seventieth floor of the uh, the downtown Sheraton in lovely Cyborg Seattle. Um, the crowd is currently being serenaded by the stylings of Night Sass and her troll metronome. Uh, why don't you make a... Do you have, like, a performance skill, Night Sass? I yeah. think I used to. I think I removed it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so it's just going to be a hell of a lot more difficult. Um, okay, let's let's see how, like, well you're blending in. Um... Make a... let me find the skill tree here. Um, can I help with this? <laughs> uh, I think you can probably only try to make it worse. But yes, you can You can help with the, the stat that you have. Uh, using skills. Okay, so... Performance... It's not super complicated. Social skills. Okay, you make a charisma, make a charisma test. Um, Night Sass, you can get an extra die from your good friend Crusher, uh, Crusher on the drums. Um, the difficulty for this roll is going to be six. And the more successes you get, the better a performance you perform. But one means, like, I perform. Yeah, even if you get one, it's, like, just acceptable. <laughs> uh, well, I got two. Alright, cool. Okay, so it's like just a little bit, like it's way lower than anyone in the bar expects from a place this oh, expensive, what? but it's still pretty good. You would impress a less upscale crowd, but you're also not like making a shrieking mess of yourself. Is it like radio play quality? Because that's all I really have to direct <laughs> about. Yeah. What kind of, what kind of music are you, are you performing? Um, I start with like hot cross buns while I'm getting into it. <laughs> oh. It's very avant-garde of you. Very avant-garde. But then, um, then I start using like both my hands and little I chopsticks don't know, I, I, maybe. No, I feel like winter or something like that. You know, okay. it's, it's just nice. It's nice. It's right. Possible. So you're you're playing the equivalent of like a deconstructed salad. Like people think that they're like, oh, this is interesting because you're playing like really obvious, boring shit like green sleeves. But you know, it's like really interesting because there's this weird cyborg troll like repeatedly hitting a drum. There must be something like you know when people are at an art show and they're like all acting like they get it, but obviously <laughs> no one gets it. That's what's happening. People are like trying to. They're having conversations like. Oh, I think it's really minimalist and like, so there's all that horseshit going on. But I don't you know, even get it. I don't. Really yeah, you. Care. Yeah, yeah. You, I think that goes right over the the band's head. But you can hear people talking. And like Bon Bon, obviously, you pick up on like conversations people are having. I'm um, just thinking about how my hair looks. Like when I, you know, how your hand will cross over when you're playing piano to get to the next octave. Right. I do that as an excuse, like you know, like move my hair, like yeah, just like that, and then keep going. Cool. All right. So yeah, people are politely ignoring the things they don't like about it and going about their meals. Um, it's like still pretty early, but it's starting to get busy, um, and the waiters are all bringing food out. And Hadia meets uh, Lisa Sephora, meets the dean uh, at their their like private booth. Um, dean Sephora is like in her sixty, like early sixties. Uh, she's an elf, um, so not really her early sixties. She's old. <laughs> she looks like an old elf. She's probably like older than she looks, um, but she's so she's meeting with um, uh, Hadia there, and they're just having a conversation. They order some food, and Bonbon, bon, you've got a pretty good view of like of their table uh, from from the angle that you're at. Okay. Um, yeah, and they just order appetizers, and you can't hear the conversation they're having, but they're you know, they're eating. Um, and I mean, breakdown. You you know, but aren't aware of these like spirits that are uh, that are around. Um, so, you know, dinner progresses, um, and they, they go from their, like, appetizers to their, their actual meal. Um, and partway through the meal, um, like, Bon Bon, you notice um, Hadia, like, starts eating, and then kind of gets this, like, concerned look on her face, and, like, is, like, touching her chest, and the, the dean, like, looks concerned and, like, kind of stands up and, like, goes over to her. And Hadia starts to like take like heaving breaths and like knocks her glass off the table onto the floor, and is just like like choking. Uh, and the dean starts like calling for help. Um, as soon as that happens, I need to roll an intelligence test to see how the spirits. The birds. Yeah, see how they interpret this. Um, actually, oh, why, don't, wow. why don't you roll roll for them? Um, 
That's so, not good. There we go. These the, are well-coded birds, though. Well, they're not that smart. I mean, they're okay, but... Pretty so roll, simple programs. Roll, roll three dice. Uh, I'm going to say the target number is going to be six. Can you do that for me? Oh, okay. Uh, didn't go well. All right, so they assume that she's under attack or something because Bonbon, bon, as soon as she like grabs her throat and kind of like staggers a little bit, there's a sudden like like boom of thunder and like a blast of wind, and everybody in kind of like an area around the table just gets knocked on their ass as this like shock wave of wind goes poof and like pushes out. Um, and I think as soon as that happens, breakdown, um, like one of your your spirits, I guess Okusan probably like comes like like rushing into the room and just like immediately starts flooding you with like danger signals. Oh no! I like I um, run out of the room. <laughs> so Crusher, you're sitting there while you're tapping at the drum, and then suddenly, out of nowhere, mysteriously, one would almost say magically, <laughs> the like shit gets just blown off of all these tables. There's like a clap of thunder. You think you see like a flash of lightning? No. What are you gonna do? Is it? Do I perceive it to be a real bird? You don't see the bird at all. The bird's in astral space. You just see like a sudden like peal of thunder and like all the like dishes get blasted off the table. Can you describe the rooms with more emph emphasis on the exits? Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's there's an exit. You can see the like emergency exit sign over a door, kind of in the back. There's the kitchen is a way out of the room, and there's the main there's a main set of like uh, double doors that are currently open. They lead out into a little like waiting area, like a little atrium. Uh, Crusher throws he, just in a haste, like. Just picks up the fucking snare drum, just throws it above him. Well, it's part of like a whole drum set, so you just flip the drum. <laughs> I just flip the drum set. Drum skill player, I saw to the fucking air. Flying everywhere. It's I, like a as, it, as that's so, happening, though, I grab the cymbal and yeah. I take the sticks and flick them around so they're like a knife instead of like a drum. <laughs> like, yeah. And then I run straight towards the elevator and I'm going upstairs to get my armor. <laughs> okay. All right. So. Yeah, immediately, like, clap of thunder. Everybody gets, like, knocked down. There's a bunch of broken dishes. Uh, and then Crusher gets up, and instead of springing, like, towards the table, just b books it out and just, like, knocks tables out of the way, and people keep getting knocked down. Um, Night's ass, what are you going to do? Your drummer just ran out of the room. So we weren't briefed. On the <laughs> well, I mean, all you know is just sudden, like... C concussion blast. Oh, thank like, God. No one will know this is my fault. <laughs> <laughs> right? Where did this come from? <laughs> and some other, some, some yeah. other shaman did they some weird shit act. in there. <laughs> my birds came to tell me there's some um, weird stuff yeah. happening. <laughs> yeah. Later. It's a coincidence that you run in. Totally. Okay. So how many axes are there? Uh, that you can see there are three. The ones that I, I described to Crusher. The like emergency uh, exit. I mean, if uh, or also you could just dive straight through the play class and fall seventy stories. That would get you out of the room. Oh no, I'm not trying to escape. Okay. So, um, I see this gust of wind and it knocks everyone away from her. Uh, yeah, everybody except uh, the dean, who's like kneeling next to her, trying to like figure out why she's choking. Okay. Uh, was I able to walk in with my AK, or they didn't let me? Uh, I. <laughs> I think if you try, okay, let's, like, retroactively, if you try to convince them, like, you can't hide the AK, but if you try to convince yeah. them it somewhere, make a, make a charisma roll, uh, we'll say difficulty, okay. difficulty six, if you get one success, you have it nearby, it's like in the piano or duct taped underneath or something. How many D6s are you rolling? Oh, nice. There you go. Okay, cool, yes, you have it nearby and, like, one magazine of oh, it. Nice. Okay, so... I like jump off of the bench that I'm sitting on towards an exit and then get down into position with my rifle and I yell out for everyone to get down. Okay. Uh, anyone who wasn't already on the floor appears to be eager to do what you want. They probably think you threw a grenade at the table, so they're all just like, a lot of people just get down and cover their head and lots of screaming like, please don't hurt me. Oh, that's fine. I um, just, I tell everyone to remain down on the ground. Bon Bon, what do you want to do? Um... So is anyone actually going to assist her? Uh, no. Only the dean is, like, next to her, and the dean looks just, like, kind of helpless right now and is trying to, like, figure out what's going on. Well, if I'm playing the part of patron, I'm going to I'm gonna run over there and at least see what what the situation is. 
Okay, I'm actually going to roll something quickly for the Dean. Uh, she's pretty smart. Okay, so you come running over. Um, Hadia like sees you and like grabs like grabs for you, like because she recognizes you and like thinks you're here to help. Right. Um, she's really strong, so like she grabs you by the front of your shirt and just like hangs on. Uh, and she's yeah, she's like choking and like you can tell she's not getting any air. Um, and the dean. Uh, who's like really like frazzled right now tells you like right away um, she's like uh, I think she was poisoned uh, I, I don't know what she it might be an allergy and and she like looks around and she's like and something attacked the table I, we need help <laughs> Jesus um, well shit I mean like <laughs> it, it, do I have any fucking idea, like, what is happening to her? Like, I'm a fucking Decker, right? Like, I yeah. assume that she's choking on something. Yeah. Her meat is malfunctioning. It's a tragic meat malfunction. We're wearing our comms, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. Breakdown. Um, we, we sort of need some medical, uh, medical help uh, here in the restaurant. I'm paging Dr. Breakdown. <laughs> Dr. <laughs> I mean... Like, no one's shooting at us, so this is a perfect opportunity for you to maybe come in and do something worthwhile. Okay, so I've I've been, like, trying to run up there because so, I really yes. avo I avoid I avoid astral travel if mm -hmm. I can. So uh, would I be able to hear Bon Bon if I'm not in the room? Uh, it depends on what kind of communication on. equipment that you have. We we already said we had comms rented. For I that. know. I just didn't. I didn't know if had, it was had like walkie talkies. So I mean, I think okay. So you get up and you're like, I gotta go. And you look at the walkie talkie, the big plastic case of the walkie talkie <laughs> sitting <laughs> on the desk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you grab it. You run up. I would just like, imagine what? you like pacing back and forth yes. in front of it. And you're just like, oh, <laughs> oh god damn it. Oh god, what do I do? Fuck. What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> I should God, I need to invest in gloves, goodness. Anyway. <laughs> you, yeah. do. So, <laughs> you do. So I've got yeah, that. Talk, you start running down the hall. And then I, I hear Bon Bon. Yeah. I mean being like, We need you here, medical stuff is happening, and I'm like, uh, uh, <sighs> Okay, and so I'm going to astral travel. Okay. I'm going to leave, leave my body. Describe, describe for us what Breakdown's transformation sequence looks like. Because like when you're in astral space, you're your own idealized form. So oh, like someone man. who thinks of themselves as like a super intense dark badass might be like, you know, themselves, but like all black with like fiery red eyes and big demon wings. Like what does is, what is Breakdown right. look like in astral space? What does Breakdown's soul look like? Well, breakdown when breakdown leaves his body, so yeah. to speak, um, he has a very different sort of air to him. So I leave my body, my physical body, just like crump, slumps so, to the ground. Right? Well, I was gonna say, are you? So this could be kind of so you're like running down the hall when you decide to go astral. Do you stop and I, sit down, or do you just jump out of your body? I, ju I jump out. Right. So Breakdown's body just collapses like a rag doll, face yeah. down on the carpet, just like tumbles, and is lying there on, on his face. Yeah. But so, you emerge from your body. Yes, I emerge out in the same sort of way that my that my magic tends to take form. Um, I seem to be sort of a, a smoky, almost like a like a light blue smoke sort of a being. Um, I definitely still look like myself, but... Uh, but very almost like regal, like the most put together version of breakdown in the world. Cool. Okay. So yeah. All right. And then you you astrally like rip yeah. your way. Yeah. Right. I, it takes I you leave. a split second. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So uh, Crusher, um, you you're running for your armor, right? Yes, upstairs. And where where was it? It was in the room. I, I took it off so in the, the room when we came yeah, downstairs. Yeah, the, the room is... A, so you went... You go... Because the room is down. The room is below. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, okay. to be honest, I get in the elevator and push a button. Maybe it goes up first. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we go down. Yeah. So I think you eventually are making your way to your room. Um, and uh, you get there... You're going to get there shortly. This is my body. <laughs> yeah, like you... I think mean, you get out of the elevator and you see Breakdown lying face down on the carpet. 
<laughs> with like <laughs> there's a walkie-talkie like, line walkie-talkie like against my face <laughs> just like <laughs> bon bon's like trying to jack into her ear like i don't know what to do in this situation <laughs> have i seen like breakdown in this do i know that she does this stuff i don't do, i don't do this very often at all okay um, because i tend to forget what happens yeah i guess uh as crusher exits the elevator and sees breakdown in the fucking center of the floor he runs over to breakdown and picks her up Okay. Is there a response? Like, do I? Can I see? Uh, breathing? No. Break, breakdown is. Yeah, you can see that that breakdown is breathing. Um, his eyes are like rolled back in his head, and he's just like breathing, and he he weighs like nothing. You just lift him like a. Yeah, I I lift him. I run into the door. I gently put breakdown into a bed, and if okay. he's still breathing at this point, mm -hmm. I just think, well, he's not dead, and I go and get my <laughs> suit. <laughs> totally. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and then I sit there in, and I'm like pacing back and forth in the room, uh, and you can go to someone else because that's what I'm going to do for a second. Okay. So just like get the armor on and get ready to like, yeah. get ready to go. Okay, yeah. cool. All right. So, um, upstairs, um, what are you doing, Bon Bon? I mean, I guess at this point I'm like, is there a doctor in the house? Is there, we've got a woman choking here, like. What the is the food that good that no one wants to help this woman? So you look around and everyone is like on their hands and knees of their head, like hands on their head, because <laughs> Night's ass is pointing a gun at the crowd. <laughs> so <laughs> no one I, wants to get up; they're all terrified. Upon realizing that, I say, "All right, is there a doctor?" And like, I know y'all scared. The musical performer also happens to be a mercenary, but just ignore that fact right now. Can anyone help this woman? <laughs> okay. I uh, yell out if you're a doctor, get up now. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's let's. I'll make a roll. I'll see. You got like a one in something chance. Okay, there's a doctor in the house. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a doctor. Actually. Yeah. So somebody, somebody like timidly like puts their hand up. Some some woman is like, ah, I, I, I'm a doctor. I yell at them to get up again. Okay. All right. So the, feet. So the doctor gets up. Uh, she's she's wearing like a pantsuit. Uh, she looks like she's on a date. Um, and she like comes rushing over. Um, so at this point, uh, breakdown, you emerge. I mean, you're invisible. No one can see you. But you emerge into the into the space. Now, when you see an astral plane, you see a lot of, like, you see people as just, like, soul-shaped blobs. Um, and they're, they glow brighter or dimmer, depending on, like, different things about them. The more cyberware they have, the harder it is to make them out. They're more like a gap in, this, in the ambient, like, magical space. And then you can see a few people in the, uh, in the area that are obviously magically talented. They glow a lot brighter. Um... So over where Hadia is, you see, uh, you see Bonbon, bon, obviously who's like missing some pieces. You see your birds like fluttering around, who like they come flying towards you and start swirling around you. Um, you see Hadia, who is just like this shining beacon of magical energy, like just like brilliant light coming off of her. Uh, and then a woman next to her who looks like kind of like a faded like version of looking at like yourself or like like she her magic is very low like it used might have used to be strong but isn't now and has right. faded or she just doesn't have a lot of magical talent but she might know a trick or two um and yeah and it looks like you can see Hadia's light like flickering like she's there's something happening so i can't talk to people uh no State. No. You can talk to spirits. Uh, you can cast spells. Um, if she was under, you can examine her like a magical aura to see if she's being attacked by magic. But right. Um, okay. So just from like looking at her, I don't know what's wrong with her. Uh, no. Do you want to try and make a test to examine? Yeah, because I have like, if I were able to assess like whether or not. I mean, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what you would learn from looking at her, like aura, not at her body. Okay. So, okay. Roll a make an intelligence test. Uh, target number is four. Um, 
Cool. Nice. Good job. Okay. Uh, yeah, she's going into anaphylactic. I'm so fucking intelligent when I'm <laughs> astral. <laughs> going into anaphylactic shock, uh, which the way you perceive it is just that something she ingested, something like inside of her, is interfering with the way that her body functions, and her body is shutting down. Okay. Uh, um, I'd like to cast detox toxin on her. Okay. Sure. Um, I'll go full force on that shit. Nice. Force, force four. Okay. I almost so forgot. I yep. was like really hoping that the birds would attack the food lodged in her throat because they're supposed to attack with the <laughs> They just like climb in her mouth. No. That works. Okay, so uh, so check, how do I spell? Um, how do I go about doing this then? Uh, and I want to cast a spell. So actually, yeah, this might work. Drug or poison? I think. Okay. Um. So. Oh, yeah. Let's Look at that see. breakdown. Relief, relief is symptomatic. The drain code is reduced. Doesn't heal damage, but eliminates effects. Okay, so you roll. Um, the target number is 10 minus her essence. So she has six essence. The target number is four. Okay. Uh, you roll a number of dice equal to the force of the spell. Okay. Um, and the more successes you get, the better off she's going to be. Uh, can, I, can I add my plus do... 2D health from my dove totem. Uh, it is a health. It is a health spell. So yeah, you totally can. Fuck yeah. Okay. So. You target number four. Dice pool. Three. Okay. Uh, now resist drain. Uh, okay. The drain is uh, four. Uh, four M two. Please. Uh. So willpower. So, right. Uh, um, Yep, so roll your willpower, and difficulty is four, and then every two successes will drop it down. You need four success. Okay, so you take an M, uh, take, or I take light drain. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so she, uh, you, you disperse, so just describe how it works. Like, does, do you physically purge the toxin, or do you, like, dissolve it? How do you, how does that work? Do you pull it it's out It's kind of, of like, um... Again, using using like the imagery of smoke, it's almost like the smoke kind of goes inside of her, and and um, and just kind of like heals, like it it just rotates and swirls inside of her body and heals her slowly. Okay, and what does it look like in physical space? Does she like cough up the thing that's trying to kill her, or does it just dissolve inside of her, or what has that work? Or does so, she like, just appear to get better? So like to the to the people who. Who are just like normal and like watching her? Mm -hmm. Is that what you're saying? I like to believe yeah. Above yeah. Normal, at least slightly. You like believe what? I'm at least like above normal, like a notch above normal. You know, like we're not all normal here. So right, we're not right. <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair. So it's almost like um, because I'm kind of kind of like pushing my magic into her from you know, a, a standing mm -hmm. astral position. It's almost like the magic is pulling her up a bit. So you okay. see her body like raise just a little bit and then seem to to just stay still in position, which might look super creepy. Yeah, totally. <laughs> but but you Good can thing. tell like pretty quickly you can tell that like she's able to breathe easier. Okay. Cool. Yeah, maybe she like ex exhales some like black smoke or something. Um, and then, yeah, she seems to be able to, like, she can start breathing. Something happened, Bon Bon. She's, like, getting better. Um, yeah. so, yeah, the, the doctor, like, looks at you, like, like, Bon Bon, like, did you do something? Like, what would happen? I'm, I'm just equally blown away. Like, I'm not even quite sure. <laughs> it's a miracle. <laughs> Jesus was oh a vampire, my God. everybody. <laughs> Praise Jesus digital Jesus. <laughs> okay, so, um, Crusher. Mm -hmm. You hear, uh, like, footsteps uh, outside the room, and then, like, a short, like, whispered conversation. There's, like, at least two people standing outside the room. And I'm right next to the door? Yeah, you're just inside. Like, you're just, like, pacing around inside. Your gun is, uh, like, against the wall um, near the doorway, like, the entrance. Do I have my comms on me? Uh, Yeah. Uh, if I turn my comms on, am I hearing anything? Uh, probably just the last bit of conversation, like Bon Bon being like, "What happened?" Okay, do I hear the footsteps stop in front of the door? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. They stopped and they're like whispering outside. So they haven't entered yet. No. Is there people? Uh, yeah. I looked through the people. All right. There's uh, there's actually three people outside. Um, they're uh, two of them are wearing like long red robes with like hoods pulled up and like. Like hoods that go down over their face with like eye holes cut in them. I don't care uh, about anything except if they have a gun in their hand. The third, yeah, the third is dressed like a bellhop. He's that guy from downstairs. I don't think you saw him. Uh, it's Franklin. Uh, he has a access card in his hand that he looks like he's going to put in the lock. The other two guys have Uzis. Okay, uh, I uh, will kick the, the door down. Jesus is a vampire guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, shit. I want to kick the door down as to just fling the door at them, and then I'm going to um. Actually, no, fuck that. I'm just gonna unload a shotgun through the door. <laughs> I just just, just the shoot door? my yeah. I don't care okay. who's behind it. I just shoot the fucking door. All right, cool. So Is there a room uh, across from us. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> It's right just, into the hallway. My, li right my limp the... body is in there. I don't know what's going on. So, <laughs> is a shotgun considered a firearm or gunnery? It's a it's a firearm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let me check the hardcover protection. So it's a thick wood door. So it counts. It just counts as two extra armor for them. Okay. Okay. Um, now you're firing. I mean, not blind. I'll give them a, like a, a penalty. I'll give you a penalty to hit. Um, you're at definitely. I would, I would assume my thermographic shit is on, so I can see exactly where they're at. Yeah, but it's, there's still a door, right? There's like, still a door, right? Yeah, and you did just look through the people, so it won't be like a huge penalty. It's just like partial cover. Um, so you're at short range. So f let's say target number six, and then do you have? Is your shotgun a smart gun or just your other? Uh, my assault cannon is a smart. Okay, smart all right. Link. So just target target number is. Uh, six, but they're standing still, so five. So, so roll your... am I just rolling with the roll macro here? Yep. Okay, so dice cool. pull is my firearms. Yep. Target number is what? Uh, target number is five. Okay. Three successes. Who can do it? Okay, so you, you just put the shotgun up to the door and pull the trigger, yeah. just blast the yeah. hole in the door. Uh, I'll resist damage for Franklin, because he's the closest one. Sucker. All right. He's got a body yes. of four. He's not wearing any armor. Doesn't have any dermal armor or dodge pool. An idiot. Uh, what's the damage <laughs> code? What's the damage code on your weapon? 4M3. Oh, okay. shit. 4M3. So you've raised it up one, so he's resisting a 4S3 wound. Um, and he's got armor from the door. So target number is four. And his armor rating is two. And he gets just the successes from the armor, so it doesn't reduce it. So he takes a serious wound. So you blow a hole in the door. You hear someone scream, and you can see the, through the hole now. Uh, Franklin staggers back, hits the back wall holding his stomach, and he's, like, bleeding all over himself, and he, like, slumps down to the floor, and he just, like, kind of weakly, like, points uh, up at the door, and then the two goons just unload their Uzis into the door okay. uh, at you. So they're gonna they're gonna roll, oh, and then we'll no. roll then we'll roll reaction for the rest of the firefight. Gotcha. Uh, um, yeah. yeah. Can I use my dodge pool in this, or yes. what would be better, my dodge or defense pool? Well, so defense pool is only for um, hand to hand combat. Okay. I dodge pool is for dodging. Can you use dodge yes. offensively? No. Like if I want to dodge towards them, <laughs> no. But on your action, you could like go through the. Through gotcha. The okay. Um. All right. So I'm just gonna check and see about cover and barriers getting damaged. Um. Let's see. Hard cover. Automatic successes. Hard cover ratings. Okay. I'm gonna reduce the doors down to like one now, and then after they oozy it, then it just it'll just hang off and not be cover anymore. So you'll get a, an extra uh, armor uh, die. <laughs> So these guys have Uzis with gas vents so they can fire bursts. So they're each going to take two shots. So they just unload. And they have flechette armor so or ammo. So what's, what's, that mean? what's a higher number? And I think I already know the answer. What's a higher number, your impact armor or half of your ballistic armor? Uh, ballistic is eight. Impact armor is six. OK, so impact. Uh, so you, you'll have six dice for, uh, for this. I think. Let me just double check for flesh. Damn, dude, you're a beast. Fuck. Yeah, man. Uh, a beast. Yeah, man. But if someone gets in there with magic, it's literally a <laughs> nuclear bomb going off in front of me. Oh, okay. Even so if it's, it's like a fucking sparkle, it will still kill me. If <laughs> yeah, Jubilee comes. Yeah. If Jubilee shows up, I'm fucked. 
<laughs> no one's ever said that before except Crusher. It's, it's, the, it's, the highest, it's the highest of either half your ballistic or double your impact. So you actually have 12 uh, ammo against these guys. If they'd gotten to you before you put your ammo on, they would just like shred you with it, but you've got 12 armor against this. Fantastic. So the chances of them hurting you is pretty low. Fantastic. All right, so they're going to roll. they got a dice pool of uh, four. You're standing still. Um, but you have one cover, so we'll say target number... What did you roll against target number five? Yes. Okay, there's going to be four. Four. All right, so for me to be able to do enough damage to hit you at all... Let's see, S wound... Because you automatically drop it for... Now, so unless I can get, like, all successes, they're not going to be able to hurt you. Let me try it again. So four... All successes on what forty six? Like all the dice, but the chance oh. of that happening is next to nothing. Four, four. We're all pretty good. Do it. Yeah, no. So they unload into the door, just like blast the door to pieces, and then just like are hitting your armor. Um, and the the ammo, the like flechette ammo, is uh, instead of like a single like lead core, it's like a cluster of like needles basically that just like fly out at you on every shot. So your armor is just covered in these like bent like, nails essentially. Uh, and then they they blow the door off of its frame, and they see you standing there with your shotgun. Okay. And initiative or what? Yeah, let's let's roll. Also, I do need to ask. I get plus one for my limbs, plus one for my dermal skin, and plus one reach for my armed and unarmed. I don't know if that plays into any of this defense-wise, but yeah, reach reach is only for like if you're gra grabbing and punching and like that kind of stuff. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll yeah. just roll initiative. Okay. Where is my body? Uh, literally like a meter behind uh, where uh, Crusher is. So okay. Do I put the entire 2d6 plus 6 in the initiative dice? No, just the dice. So 2d6. Uh, just put 2, because it'll all... Oh, okay, okay. Initiative dice, and then reaction. Is the the bonus, the, like, plus? Plus 6. Yeah. Okay. 17! <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, my God. So you get to go twice before they do. <laughs> what do you want to do? Uh, how oh, far Jesus. away are they from me? So I imagine, I imagine you're like wired reflex when they kick in, things get all slow and stuff. So it's just like the Uzis go like, they start off blasting really fast and then just go and you can see the bullets like flying and bouncing off you. Uh, they're, you're, you're like face to face. They're standing, like if you just reach out with your arm and the shotgun, you would just like poke the closest one in the chest. Okay. Uh, is there what, like, are they both pretty much the same in terms of looks? In appearance, like both race and size and height. You, you can't tell, right? They have their face covered in these like pull-up like hoods. Okay. Uh, the first one, I'm gonna take a shot with a shotgun. Okay. So I need to roll the damage for that. So dice pool is six. What's the target number four? What are you gonna? Uh, so target number, there's nothing blocking now, like blocking the way between you. So and they haven't started to move, and you haven't moved yet. So target number is three, I think. With okay. Your shot. Yeah, it's three. Two successes. Okay, so you hit one of them. Uh, he's going to roll to resist. These guys actually have dodge pool, so he's going to try and dodge. Uh, no dermal armor. I'm going to use... Uh, let's see. Two dodge dice. And it's a 4M, 4M3, you said, for your weapon? 4M3, yeah. Okay. All right, and they got an armor rating of two. Okay, so four successes drops it down to a light wound. So this guy, you you blast the first guy in the chest, and he staggers back, but there's no blood. And through his like ripped, uh, through his like ripped shirt, you can see he's wearing a bulletproof vest underneath. Okay. These guys are ready for a little more conflict than poor Franklin, who's like bleeding from a gut wound on the ground. Uh, okay, so you you take a shot. Now you can move your quickness in meters uh, as part of your action. Do you want to also move, or yes, do you just want to? Yes, I'm a shot I'm just quick? slowly striding, walking towards him. Okay. I take right, the so shot, whatever it does, and then I drop the shotgun if I see that he has the... Or I guess I don't drop it. I just like put it at my side Okay. with my left arm, and then with my right arm, I'm just going to fucking go and punch him. You want to punch him? Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, so the way So that... my unarmed combat is six. I have no idea how to do damage with that. Yeah, it's a little different. So it's based on your strength, um, so not inconsiderate. Um, Which is eight. Yeah. 
Okay, so melee combat. Um, whether unarmed or not, you announce your intention to make an attack. He decides whether to make a counterattack or to avoid combat. He's going to try to avoid combat. So you, <laughs> no shit. Uh, you make a, an armed or unarmed success test. Base target number is four. And then he makes a resistance test uh, to avoid it. He's okay, so I'm just rolling my normal unarmed combat dice. Yeah. Target number is four, you said? Yeah. Two successes. Okay, so now the damage for... Um, damage for your attack is what's your strength? Eight. Okay, so he's resisting an eight M1 stun attack. Damn. So let me just put down. So goon, goon number one has a light physical and is resisting a light. Well, he's resisting a moderate. Okay, so his body is four. He's going to use the other die from his dodge pool, which is one. Target number is eight, because you're super strong. And he's got an impact rating of one. You get one success, so he reduces it from an M to uh, an L. So he takes another light wound and now has a Eat plus it. two to his target number. So you you stun and so you, you shoot him, and then with your other hand you punch him across the face and he like staggers back. Um, and he's all disoriented. Okay. Um, Okay, so that was your 17, and then the melee attack was your 10. Right? Yeah, and then it's the 8. And then I yeah, and then it's the 8. Uh, so the guy that you punched, um, he like yeah, he like falls back. He's going to start running for it. He runs down the hallway. Um, so he starts to run away towards the elevators. Um, the other guy uh, reaches into his, uh, in, into his coat and um, pulls out a grenade. He has a grenade in his hand. <laughs> Uh, and he's going to uh, detonate that grenade. Um, he's just going to blow himself up? Yeah, he shouts something like, you know, for humanity or like, die troglodyte scum, and then just pulls the pin and just like throws the grenade in the air because you're like right between each other. Um, so I'm, he's not even going to have to roll to hit because he just like drops it basically at his feet. Right. Um, so it's going to affect both of y'all. It's an offensive grenade. So roll um, a resistance test using body. Do I so get just, my armor body? You as don't. Well? You don't get your ballistic armor. You just get the other armor. You get the six because it's an impact. Oh, so it's only a six. Yeah. Okay. And target number. Uh, target number is six. Oh boy. He's gonna roll one too. Okay. Oh shit. Will the explosion reach me? <laughs> Uh, so the explosion lucky. will j definitely jostle you fuck? right down, but it won't uh, it won't kill you. So he's gonna use okay. the rest of his pool. I don't wear six. armor, so <laughs> should probably fix that. <laughs> All right, he got two successes as well. So neither of you stage it down. Um, Crusher, did you roll the resist damage one or just the roll? Because you should have more successes than that. Uh, oh, 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 I just rolled rolled. Yeah, so this didn't count your armor. So add on top of those two successes, you got another six. So you actually have eight. Wait. So you, yeah, you'd be adding your impact armor to this. So it says, bo okay, now I'm rolling resist damage. Wait. So it says body dice, which is. Oh, uh, I see. Okay, yeah, do the resist damage. So it's your body. And that is with the dermal armor and the armor dermal, on the arm. Dermal armor will prompt you for the next one. So it's just, just a just nine in, instead just, of an 11? Yeah. Yeah, put in nine, and then it'll ask you how much dermal armor you have. Oh, okay. Uh, and does that count for the cybernetics armor as well? Yep. So yeah. put two? Yep, put two there. And then dodge pool is however much dodge I want to put into it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this will your dodge pool will recover the next time you roll initiative. So remember that I've got another action before, so don't necessarily use it all up. Crusher's just going to stand there. He's not dodging shit. <laughs> Crusher. <laughs> uh, and the target number is what? Uh, six. target number is six, yeah. And the and armor every, rating? Uh, your armor rating is six. six. Yeah, it's your impact armor. All right, so seven. So that reduces it down from an M to an L, and an L to nothing. So <laughs> he reduces it uh, not even once. He takes an M wound. Um, so it goes off. There's a bright flash, a bang. He gets knocked over and, like, rolls onto his side. Uh, oh, I forgot. Um, no armor buddy who's already super injured. Should, I, fuck it, he's dead. It kills. <laughs> it, it totally kills uh, Franklin because 
frag grenade about a meter away from you going off and you have no armor. He just dies. Um, this guy gets knocked back and like falls on his face, uh, but he's not dead. And the other guy is like running down the hall. He's like too far to get uh, hurt by it. And you just your armor absorbs the blast. Yeah, my I just have my I just pull my visor down when it when I see the grenade pin ah. or something like that. <laughs> uh, and as that goes off, yeah, you've got another action now. And the guy's running away. Yeah, he's yeah he's moving towards the elevator bank. Are they? Do we have glass windows? Are there windows? You're in the in the hallway, so there's just rooms on either side. Um. Well, the elevator's not going to come immediately. I just start walking towards him very slowly and put another shell in my shotgun. Okay. Do you want to shoot? Yeah, and, and once I get it loaded, I guess I just. Yeah, I mean it's got a magazine, right? So. Uh, yeah. uh, well, I, I guess I like load it in and point it at him. And yeah. what is like? What is he doing? Is he just punching the button? Uh, he's he's still running from you. He's not quite at the banks of elevators yet. Can I make a shot to try to like disarm him? Like shoot his legs? Uh, no. You can shoot him with the shotgun. Yeah. yeah. Um, All right. I, mean, I just shoot him with shotgun. I was gonna say because like it's it's not like if you had a rifle maybe, but like you're shooting just like a yeah. blast of pellets down the hallway. Sure. Uh, All right. So your difficulty now is he's he's outside of short range for your shotgun. So it starts at five. Um, you're moving and he's moving. So that's another. So you're you're trying to shoot him at six now. Target running. So one, two, five. Yeah. So. Yeah, zero successes. I just take right. a random shot. Fail. Yeah. I just drop so, the gun and I'm just gonna keep yeah. reloading and walking towards him. Bang. So you fire. Is it one of those like under barrel like? I would assume. Like, well. I don't. Shot. Yeah, I mean it's it's an infield AS seven. I don't think so it it's has like a, a gun. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't have, and I don't have like a special whatever the fuck they call those round ammo things on it. Like it's uh, just yeah, a normal like, shotgun. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you fire, load it again. Um, okay. Cool. Uh, so he gets to the elevator. Uh, they've got another action. Um, the guy on the ground is going to try and shoot you in the back with his Uzi. No, he doesn't really realize it's not going to do him shit good, but he'll try. Sounds good. Um, actually, fuck it. He's going to run for it, too. So one of them is going to hopefully get away. <laughs> he, <laughs> he gets up and like, staggers the opposite direction towards like the fire stairs. And the guy pressing the button uh, like yeah, hammers it a bunch of times and then like looks at you and just turns and just, like unloads a burst in your direction. Um, so let's do that. Difficulty is you're moving this time. Am I rolling the resist damage here? No, not yet. Uh, I will let you know if you even need to. Gotcha. Nope. Cap. Okay. Oh shit. Four and let's see here. Four and four. Okay, no. So again, like he's just shooting you and uh, nothing happens, and he throws the Uzi on the ground, uh, and, and like runs for it. Like just <laughs> books it away from you. It's like fuck the elevators, he's just gonna run. He's just running? Yeah. Like panicky, running towards the end of the hall. Uh, and what is that? Are there like if I'm looking towards the end of the hall, do I see an exit sign for stairs? Yeah, there's probably like a fire exit at either end of the hallway. I I guess I start running. I put the shotgun inside and just start running towards him at full speed. <laughs> okay, what's your quickness? Uh, two. Okay, he's way faster than you. Of course. Yeah. Okay, let's make a uh, let make a quickness test to see if you can catch him. Uh, just roll like four dice or uh, two dice. He'll roll his four. What's if you can target? beat him, uh, you can both roll against four. Okay. And if you beat him by some miracle, which you might, if you get both successes, uh, you'll catch him in the in the stairwell. <laughs> Zero okay. successes. All right. So you chase him into the stair, oh. and I think what slows you down is that the stairwells are not made for trolls. So you like hit the stairwell and like blast the sides of the door out of the way and there's like concrete dust everywhere but you see him like running down the stairs uh panicking his uzi is like lying on the floor near you how many stairs has he like when i reach the door i just can't get in at all you have to, you, you break through and that's what slows you down it gives him like a couple of like flights of of advantage and you look down and you actually don't see him like he's taken another floor and run back onto the floor Okay, I calm. I, I I just like glance over the stairs, and then calmly walk back to the elevators and hit the bottom floor. Okay, 
So once once the like grenade explosion and the like shotgun shots and stuff go off, as you're walking back, people are like peering out of their like hotel room doors, like terrified. I hand them all gum. <laughs> Just gum. I gum. spend the time handing them gum. Okay, awesome. All right. So meanwhile, the the three of you upstairs uh, with Hadia, she seems to be recovering. Um, okay. But okay. she's like she's so Bonbon, you and Nights see this. She's making eye contact with something like in the middle distance above her. Um, and her eyes have this kind of like alabaster like sheen over them. Like it looks like a weird moving like cataract. Um, breakdown, you can tell she's looking right at you. Like she can yeah. see you she's perceiving astrally. Mm. What do you want to do? Okay, so uh, does she seem to be like fine? Um, she's fine in the way that a person who was joking and is now not joking would be fine. Like, she's like, <laughs> she's like crying. Like, there's like tears streaming out of, uh, like down her face, and like you can see her like emotional state in her aura, and it's all red, and, like flickery. Like, she's super upset. Right. But she knows she's not dying anymore. Um, I look around. Do I see? Do I see like a presence of any other, like magical or spiritual? beings anywhere um, aside from my birds obviously <laughs> aside from them just what i said before like a couple of people are awakened like in the thing but they're all heads down like right yeah. okay i look around i kind of understand that the the broken stuff is most likely the bird's fault and i just kind <laughs> of <sighs> and try to assess whether or not there's anything else that i can do to help or something else that i can do um, in like pursuit of figuring out like what happened. Um, well, like the, the coughing and choking seem to have like actually like har physically harmed her. Like she has some like muscle trauma and like uh, you know tearing or something. I don't know what like coughing really hard does to you, but um, so I could try to just heal her. Yeah, if you wanted to try to heal her, you could. Um, what's my? Okay, I'm not even to a moderate Ouch. strain yet so uh okay so it's a, she's not she's not at deadly but you would say she has like mo moderate wounds yeah i mean i think i think that's probably reasonable like she's got a moderate wound yeah okay. you're gonna try and, and cure her of that yes okay so, so target number it's the you're rolling the force of the spell target number is uh, four and what, what force do you want to cast it at? That's how many dice you get. Uh, so um, my maximum force for heal moderate is four. Okay. So I'll use all four and then I get plus two yep. um, to healing. Okay. And then target number four, right, you said? Yes, target is four. Ooh, awesome. Okay. Wow. I heal the shit out of her. <laughs> all right. So make a... Uh, uh, 4M2 drain resistance test. So roll willpower. Okay, so you're just, you take a light uh, light wound from drain. Okay, I'm your at moderate now. Your target number actually for the roll should have been, because you're already light, um, you need three lights to make a, a moderate. So, um, But anyway, you should have had the TN, the target number penalty. It should have actually been target number five. But that's still that's still three successes. So mm -hmm. it's enough to like help her like cure quickly. Okay. Um, cool. Okay. So you're you can feel like the strain of the spell, you know, channel through you, and it's not it's not like a physical strain. It's like affecting your astral form. Right. But uh, Bon Bon and, and Night's Ass, you see uh, Hadia like visibly like get better. Like she she like seems to be okay. Um, and then she, her eyes like clear, and she looks at like over you, Bon Bon, yeah. and then looks at uh, the dean and just starts like apologizing to the dean. She's like, like I'm so sorry, I'm sorry, any any of this happened, and like starts to try to sit up. What do you want to do? Um, I'll well, I'll lower my AK and yeah. walk back. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But I'm just gonna sit there. Kay. Sitting there. All right. Uh, so yeah. So she she says um, she's just a like a bonbon. She's like she like kind of gestures at the at the table, and like you can see the remains of her meal like kind of like knocked over onto the the bench seat where she was sitting. She's like, there was something in my food, 
She's like still like trying to breathe properly. Um, so I would like to, I would like to maybe grab the food. Okay. And and then, um, you know maybe I'd like to use my my circles to find out if I can find someone who can actually analyze it because I'm pretty sure that none of us can. Okay, um, it, it's less about a person and more about the equipment you would need to, to analyze it, right? Like, right, I want to try to use my circles to find someone that can do it. Okay, just like somebody you know? Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to say target number six. Oh, shit. All right, six. well, let's do this. We got three. It's going to happen right here. Fucking six. Bam! Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, all right. You yeah. You you like go through the mental rolodex. Fuck, can't think of anybody. But while like while you're doing that, like you can see like her food and like the there's something about the way the like the light in the bar is like shining off of it. Like there's like it's like kind of sparkly in a way. Uh, she ordered like a rice pilaf or something, and it's like sparkling. Yeah. All right. Well, I failed, but we know that something was. Wrong with food. I turn. Crusher, you're the fucking guardian gone. angel here. Just gone. Totally gone. Like, what? <laughs> so Hadia, Hadia is like standing. Job. She's standing now, a little bit like uncertainly, and uh, like uh, the dean is like helping her stand. She says to you, um, she apologizes to the dean again. She's like, I'm so sorry. Says to you, if it's all the same, I'd really like just to get back to the room. We escort her back to the room. Okay. <laughs> Breakdown. Do you just like snap back into your body? Um, I, I like kind of hover near them okay. while they're going back. Okay. But so, I, st I start to feel, I start to feel the pull back to my body a bit more after healing so much. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So I think that, um, when you get, you all kind of like arrive on the floor at the same time, like Crusher, you're getting back to the room as these guys, like the, the elevator opens and you step out and the hallway smells like, like gunpowder. It smells like cordite and... <laughs> burning <laughs> and you see uh the body of that guy uh nice ass the guy you're talking to like slumped against the wall with shrapnel wounds all up over him uh and then crusher you hear the elevator like bing and so you, you like peek out and you yeah see well, your... like when i hear the bang i like do the shotgun cock and i start walking <laughs> towards the elevator <laughs> okay yeah you see everybody coming towards you okay i put it down and put the visor up and uh, i just kind of stare blankly as they start walking towards me Okay, cool. Let's let's take a break there. Just like the blank stare. <laughs> okay. All right. Cool. We'll, we'll be right back. We'll go into the final portion of the show right after this. We'll see you guys in just a bit.